Hello and welcome back to Excel Your Academy. So today what we are going to do is like uh, already the series of sales cycle was going on from the uh, source scooper. So there are a few questions which might come for your PhD interview. There are certain numericals based on the sales cycle. So today we are going to do those. And if possible, if any doubts are there, you can ask just asking in the comment section or in the telegram. So the telegram is also by the name of Excel Your Academy. So if you are interested, you can join. So let's begin. So these are the certain questions which might, you know, uh, or the similar type of questions might come if by chance during the interview you mentioned that your favorite subject is cell biology. So then these are the kinds of questions they might ask. Okay. So, so if you treat a proliferate, proliferating human cells with an inhibitor of DNA synthesis and analyze the DNA content in flow cytometer six hours later. So you need to understand over here. So whenever you do such questions, such uh, are there. So you need to know what are the pro what are the human cells. So usually we know that any human cells, if you take, if suppose they have not mentioned the average uh, generation time. So you need to take as 24 hours only as the doubling time. Okay. Unless until it is mentioned. Now what they're saying is that they have added the inhibitor of DNA synthesis. So S phase, they have added the inhibitor. Now what they're saying is, they analyze the DNA content using the facts. Okay, so uh, six hours later. So what they said, they have added the inhibitor and after six hours, they have analyzed using the facts, the DNA content. Draw a plot of the results you expect. What is the importance of waiting six hours after the treatment with the inhibitor? So in order to understand this, so you need to see the graph over here. So you see that the amount of DNA per cell and the number of cells are given in the y-axis, whereas the amount of DNA per cell is given on the x-axis. So since inhibition of DNA synthesis stops the cells in the S phase, as mentioned in the question, during the 6-hour wait, the cells will be progressed from the G2M through mitosis and into the G1. So the cells are arrested in either S or G1. So obviously, if you add the inhibitor, okay, if you add the inhibitor, of the DNA synthesis that is the S phase. So obviously the cells are going to get arrested in the S phase. Now suppose you have not waited for the 6R, what will happen then? The profile will be looking same as the normal proliferating cells. So this is what something you need to understand. Okay, I hope this is clear. Okay, so next question is, this is a numerical base. The frequency of cells in a population undergoing mitosis is convenient way to estimate the length of the cell cycle. Okay, so in order to measure the cell cycle in the liver of an adult mouse by measuring the mitotic index, the liver slices are prepared and it was chained. It was observed that three out of 25,000 cells are found to be undergoing mitosis. So if we assume that M phase lasts for 30 minutes, what is the or calculate the approximate length of the cell cycle in liver of an adult mouse? Now, this is actually very simple and you need to remember how exactly you need to calculate the mitotic index. So, mitotic index is given as total number of cells which are in the M phase or in the mitosis divided by the total number of cells which has been accounted for the study into 100. Okay, so in the given question, in the given question, <clears throat> one sec, okay, so in the given question, it is given that, what are the number of the cells in mitosis? It is said that three cells are found to be undergoing mitosis. So we have got three and total number of cells is given as 25,000. So we'll take as 25,000. Now, in case if the question or, or the scientists have not mentioned like how many cells are there, then you need to take total cell as 1000, okay? Since here it is mentioned that it is 3 out of 25, so we'll take 3 by 25,000 into 100. So how much you are getting? You will get something around 0, 0, 0, 0.00012 into 100, which is nothing but your 0 0.012, okay? This is a frequency. Now, this is one part of the story. Now they have already said that the assuming that the M phase lasts for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes can be written as in hours. So this can be taken as 0.5, right? So now 0.5 divided by the frequency of the uh, what we have got just now. So we'll get something around 
41.67 hours. So, which is nothing but near to your 42 hours. So, the answer is 42 hours. So, this is how you have to calculate the mitotic index. Okay. So, I hope this question is very much clear to everyone. And this has come for your CSAR syllabus once. Okay. Still, if any doubts are there, please watch the video again. And if it is not clear, let me know through your comment or through your messages in the telegram. Okay, so in what ways are the cells in G0, G1 similar? How do they differ? So if a question comes like, even though we say that in the cell cycle, if the cells are not having the growth factors or the nutrients availability, the cells go into the resting phase or the G0 phase. Now what they're asking is how they are similar. So the amount of the DNA is going to be same and both are going to be metabolically active. It's just that, at G0 phase, the cell is not proliferating. It is just remaining in that particular phase of the cell cycle only. And it is waiting to get stimulated to re-enter the cell cycle. So if you introduce the growth factor, if you introduce the nutrient availability, then from G0, it will enter the G1. So it's a very simple question. Now, if you withdraw the growth factors from a culture of proliferating mammalian cells, what happens to the cells in S phase at the time of the growth factor withdrawal? So what will happen? This is very simple. Since it was initially present and the cell cycle has crossed the checkpoint, it will just continue by passing through the G2 and M to the next G1. Initially, if suppose it was not present, then of course the cell cycle will not continue. It will get arrested. But once it has entered the cell cycle, it has crossed the checkpoint of S phase, then it is going to enter and complete the cell cycle. Okay, now which phases of the cell cycle would be arrested by the treatment of cells with the ionizing radiation? So ionizing radiation is going to damage the DNA. So in the previous lectures, if you remember, we have talked that whenever there is a DNA damage at each phases of the cell, the uh, cells get arrested. So if it is during that particular phase of the cell cycle, so it, at that phase on itself, the cell will get arrested. Let us say the cell was in the beginning of the cell cycle, that is the G1 phase it will get arrested over there only. The moment there is a damage to the DNA, the cell gets arrested so that it can repair. So that's all. So these were the few questions. So I will be bringing more questions like this only so that from this, at least you will, you can judge yourself whether you are clear with the topics or not. And uh, yes, if any doubts are there, I'm happy to solve. Thank you. If you like the video, please share and subscribe with your friend circle.